High School Basketball on Bear Country 95.3. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Nichols Gymnasium, Greenfield High School, a key early season Hampshire League matchup. It's the Greenfield Green Wave and the Frontier Red Hawks. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins, our studio producer, is Dave Reno. Well, Chris, we uh, a couple of nights ago, we flipped the calendar to 2019. The Hampshire League season well underway now, and this team that's visiting Greenfield, the Frontier Red Hawks, they would like to say that they are the team to beat in the Hampshire League. A, a big road win against the Green Wave tonight would go a long way towards establishing that. Well, I think this is going to be a good basketball game. I think that, uh, you know, I know that Frontier believes in themselves. I think that there's high expectations in the South County this year that they're going to make a deep run. But this is going to be an early test. This Greenfield team, new coach, new attitude, and I think probably playing pretty good basketball. Certainly we saw them against Franklin Tech. They were very impressive. I don't think that Frontier is going to get out of here easily. This is going to be a tough one. I think Frontier could win it, but we'll see. Frontier off to a fine start on the young season. They are 4-1. and one. Greenfield comes in at 3-1. and one. Uh, We have not had the Frontier boys on the radio yet, but Chris, you have had a chance to see them. And not just one carry, but two carries that Greenfield's going to have to deal with. Yeah, I, Frontier pretty much wiped out Ludlow. We had a, a game for them on Frontier Community Access Television. And Karsten Carey was not in that game because he had a hit pointer, but Peter Carey showed that when uh, Karsten's on the bench or when they have to go to Peter on the bench, uh, there's not a lot of drop-off there. He had three or four monster jams, and they've got great backcourt speed. And that night, they were they were shooting threes like crazy in the second half. So they can shoot it from anywhere. They've got a good inside-out game. I don't see a whole lot of flaws, but if there are any, I think Greenfield's defense could expose them. Yep, and as always, Greenfield uh, very much a defensive-minded team. They're not an offensive juggernaut by uh, by any uh, stretch of the imagination, but they do have nice balanced scoring. They have guys like Jake Sack and Dan Vega, known as Nooney, Nate Hazelton, Owen Phelps, Mason Meadows, Hunter Campbell. These are all guys, they're veterans. They've been around the block a time or two, so they know what they're doing out there. And they've been bolstered by a young crew coming up, including a freshman guard by the name of Ryan Cody, who is off to a fine start on his high school career. Starting lineups, national anthem, and the opening tip-off, Greenfield Frontier next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And back with you here from Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School. We get set for Greenfield and Frontier. The first of three consecutive nights of basketball here on Bear Country. If you're a hoops junkie, we got your cover. We have a... Again, what should be a very good matchup here tonight between Greenfield and Frontier Boys. Tomorrow night, we've got the Athol Mahar girls game, and that's part of a boy-girl doubleheader that'll be uh, tomorrow night between those two longtime rivals. That's something, Chris, they've done for a while. Yeah. Instead of having a JV game in varsity, they have the girls and boys, and they switch. Sometimes it's the boys' game first, sometimes the girls' game they've first. They've been doing that for 20 years. I remember yeah. doing those back in the mid-'90s, and it was always fun. I mean, it's just a great rivalry. So we will have that for you tomorrow, and then we're with you again on Saturday, and it's an early start. It is a 5.30 tip time, 5.15 pregame for Greenfield and Mohawk boys here at Nichols Gym. So Bobby C. will be with me tomorrow for Athol Mahar, and Chris, you and I will tee it up again on Saturday. All right, and the pregame warm-up is over. Time now for the introduction of tonight's starting lineups. Kurt Richardson at the mic here at Nichols Gym. Greenway. 
All spectators are reminded that we are dealing with young athletes, not professionals, who are trying to do their best for each respective high school. We request that all cheering be supported. Let's make this contest a positive experience for all concerned. We would also like to remind you that the use of tobacco products on school premises is prohibited by state law. We would appreciate your cooperation in keeping the gym clean by using the trash receptacles located at the doors. At the conclusion of this contest, both teams will participate in the ceremonial handshake demonstrating respect for their opponents. All fans must remain off the court and wait until the ceremony is completed and the game officials have exited. And now for your starting lineups. For the Red Hawks, at guard number one, Alex Sharp. At guard number 14, Owen Morris. At guard number two, Kaylin Evans. At four, number 13, Peter Carey. At center, number 22, Corsten Carey. Corsten. The Red Hawks are coached by Ben Garhevsky with assistance Brendan McKenna and Josh Morris. And now for your review. Greenway. At guard, number 10, Owen Phelps. At guard, number 3, Danny Vega. At forward, number 24, Julius Bruinton. At four, number 14, Mason Meadow. At guard, number 21, Hunter Campbell. We do this coach by Angelo Thomas, who assists Joy Bale, Aaron Campbell, and Craig Bruce. Two teams with a combined record of seven and two early on, which should be really, I think, a wide open Hampshire League race last year. Of course, it was Hopkins, then a gap the rest of the field. This year, uh, of course, then Pioneer went on that great postseason run, ultimately knocking off the Golden Hawks in the Western Mass title game. But this year, it's kind of a mishmash of teams, I would think, at the top. Maybe one team or another will establish itself as the team. Frontier would like to do that. Greenfield would like to do that. We'll see. Well, some years there's more parity than others. This year is a parity year, obviously. And I, I like Frontier's chances. I don't know if they run the table in terms of Western Mass, but they're going to be in the mix. Interesting start um, in terms of the lineup, Jeff. Ben Barashevsky puts both Carey brothers out there. So a decided height advantage in the front court for Frontier to start this game. Mason Meadows jumping center against Karsten Carey. Lead official is Jerry Burgess. The ball is in the air. The tip is controlled by Greenfield. And they're home whites with the green and black. Frontier in the visiting Navy with Scarlet. And just off the bat, we have a whistle. Never started the shot clock. Oh, so they quickly corrected that. Set it to 25. It's a 30 second shot clock, by the way. Eight minute quarters. And now, finally, we are underway. And looks like a zone defense by Frontier Greenfield. And Nooney Vega is going to fire up a three. He knew it was short. And Julius Brewington, the rebound, gets rejected by Karsten Carey. And it comes away to Kalen Evans. Runs it up on the left. Peels back along the left side. Gets it back top of the key. Peter Carey gets it. A sharp top of the key to Evans. They feed the lane. Peter Carey. Going up against Brewington, turn, shoots, goes for the bank, no good. Ball is off the hands of Kalen Evans over to Greenfield. That was well defended by Brewington, got right in Carey's face. But look at the way Frontier is moving the ball already in that first series. Owen Phelps takes it up, brings it across on the left. Vega bounce pass to Mason Meadows, quickly shells it back to Vega, a little scoop pass over to Phelps. Left side Vega, shot clock at 18. They go down low, high post. It's Mason Meadows looking for the cutter. Hunter Campbell with his first touch. Hunter, the leaner, is short, partially blocked, but a foul inside against Frontier. Well, Greenfield's come out here fired up. They know that they're going to have a tough task tonight, and they're playing very, very inspired basketball. Hunter Campbell that time went right into tall timber and drew the foul. He'll get two shots. Campbell shooting off on the far side of the court. 
First one's in the air, that one is short, no good, he will get one more. Greenfield here in the first half will be shooting towards the basket that's uh, just off the lobby here at GHS. We're on the other side. Second free throw is good, one nothing Greenfield a minute in. Alex Sharp, senior point guard, number one, takes it across. On the right elbow, top of the key, Peter Carey. Left side, they try to get it down low to Kalen Evans, picked off by Hunter Campbell. Pass on the right side, batted down though. And Karsten Carey comes up with the steal. Sharp takes it across the timeline right. Top of the key, Peter Carey. Whips the pass over on the left hand side. Back to Sharp, dumps it down low. Karsten Carey, and before that, a foul called. It's going to go against Mason Meadows. That's the first on him, first team foul on Greenfield. They get it in to Carey on the left side. Try to get it back to Kale and Evans. Tipped out of bounds off Vega. Frontier will keep it. That Dan Vega's quick. He got over there in a hurry to block that pass. Evans inbounds to Sharp. Sharp at the head of the circle. Stops at the top of the key. Goes to Kale and Evans, but an offensive foul on Frontier. We're going, it's gonna go against Peter Carey. Yeah, Peter kind of cleared out with the elbow there trying to get some Oh, beg so. your pardon, it's going to go against Morris. I okay. misspoke. It was 1-4, not 1-3. Sorry, Peter, we gave you a ticket you didn't deserve. <laughs> Vega runs it up on the left side, gets it to Mason Meadows. Shuffle pass left side to Hunter Campbell. Guarded by Peter Carey. His frontier now has gone to... Oh, no, they're still in a zone. Definitely a matchup zone, though. They dump it down low. Brewington, nice spin move, gets Carey up in the air. Shot, though, is short. But I like what he did. He got the ball back again, got it back to Vega. Nooney lost the handle, though, back to Hunter Campbell. Hunter, jump pass on the right side to Meadows. Mason Meadows sealed off on the right side. Brewington, top of the key. Vega, he'll launch a three. Good! Bang! Downtown Dan Vega. 4 nothing Greenfield. 5.45 to play here in the first quarter. Sharp into the front court. Passes to Kalen Evans on the right wing. Guarded by Vega. Man, Greenfield defense. They triple team, carry down low, count the basket, and a foul from the right block. Yeah, Bruinton's like, I don't know what I gotta do to block that guy, but that, they're gonna have to do that. Because, you know, Carey is such a force down there on the baseline. He went up against three guys and got that shot counted in one. Phelps, Bruinton, and Meadows were all guarding him. Bruinton committed the foul. Free throw is on the way, it is good. Three point play by Karsten Carey, who will be our halftime guest. 4-3 in favor of Greenfield. In the backcourt, being double teamed, now a steal. Nice defensive there, Karsten Carey's gonna spin in the lane. Dumps it off left side to Sharp. Sharp on the right wing, stops there. Back top of the key, here comes Morris. Left of the lane, little scoop shot is good. Good move by Karsten, by Owen Morris rather. Got a little bit of a lane there. Frontier's first lead of the night, 5-4. Five, 5-11 five, to play, now they come up with another steal. Peter Carey, they'll throw it away. Try to get it back to Sharp, but picked back up by Greenfield. Owen Phelps, the leaner from right of the lane, off the back rim, no good. Peter Carey skies for the rebound. Outlet pass on the left, Evans. Kalen into the front court, now works it between the circles, angles towards the right. Shuffle pass to Morris. Morris from the foul line, right side pass to Sharp. Sharp looking to get it down low. Karsten Carey, again, triple team. Lost it, got it back, put it up and in. You can put four guys on, you're not gonna stop them that way. Frontier seven, Greenfield four. 435 to play here in the first quarter. Phelps, triple team right in front of the Frontier bench, did get away to Hunter Campbell, goes baseline, tries to shoot it up over Karsten Carey, couldn't do it, misses the shot. Loose ball picked up, Mason Meadows, he'll put up a three, partially blocked. Campbell though the rebound. Shot clock down to nine, Vega misses. Mason Meadows goes up strong, high off the window, no. Brewington gets another rebound, and a foul on the floor, and that's going to be called against Frontier. Oh, despite being outsized, Greenfield's doing a very good job on the offensive glass. A couple of big rebounds there. Jared Hart's going to check in for Greenfield, and Brewington will take a seat on the bench for the Greenway. 4-11 to play here in the first quarter. Frontier leads 7-4. Campbell gets bounced. Rejected was Meadows by Peter Carey. That's three blocks so far for the Red Hawks. Evans on the right wing. A little bit of a trouble, got it to Peter Carey, right side pass to Sharp. Alex goes right baseline, off the window and in. He has this great speed when he gets that uh, little bit of daylight, look out. Frontier now leads by five, Greenfield throws it away as Hart had it, lost it, got the ball back and called a quick timeout. We'll step aside for the break as well. 3.50 to play here 
in the first quarter and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 9, Greenfield 4 on Bear Country 95.3. So two separate and distinct runs in the game. Greenfield scored the first four points of the game, a free throw by Hunter Campbell and a three-point bomb by Vega, but nine unanswered now for the Red Hawks. They lead by five. And the Hawks have Colin Boudreau in the game, so their three biggest players are on the floor right now. And, the height. Yeah, and it has definitely presented Greenfield with some problems as it will present teams all year long with tr without uh, troubles. Vega gets it to the right side. Mason Meadows, he'll put up a three. That shot is no good. Karsten carried the rebound, and he got fouled. Yeah, it looks like they'll get Vega yeah. on that. Yeah, Vega tried to go over the top and just get a hand on that ball, but that wasn't going to happen. So, tough, tough foul there. Three team fouls on the way. First personal on Dan Vega. 3.35 to play here in the first quarter. Frontier leads 9-4. to four. Sharp takes it across on the right side. Morse. The high post, Boudreaux throws past the left side. Peter Carey, pull up pop from 14 feet is good. 11-4, Frontier now leads by seven. 11 consecutive points here by the Hawks. Mason Meadows throws left side, Hunter Campbell. They dip it down low. Mason Meadows up against the trees, gets it back to Vega. Slices into the paint, lost the handle though. And our reach and foul called on Vega as he tried to tie up Karsten Carey instead. They're going to get him with his second foul in the last 30 seconds. That's Maybe. a good way to describe it, amongst the trees, because that's sort of what it's like out there. Yeah. We're watching from this end of the floor, and Greenfield just looks like, you know, midgets compared to some of these bigger Frontier kids. Vega will have to take a seat of the bench, and freshman Ryan Cody, who's looked good early on in his high school career, replaces him. Karsten Carey, again, triple team, goes for the bank for the right block, and it is good. He but, just toughed it in. But defended as well as possible by uh, yeah. Jake Jared Hart there. It is not bad Greenfield defense at all. No. They, they did everything right, and they still couldn't stop him. Nice pass, Cody. Jared Hart rejected by Karsten Carey. Here comes Sharp. Alex into the front court. That is four team blocks for Frontier. Peter Carey gets the top of the key in a, what do we got? Travel. Traveling call on Morse. I mean, the only way to really defend a guy who's that much taller than you is to, is to do exactly what Jared Hart did, which is bang the body as much as possible, make it as uncomfortable as possible. 2.30 to play here in the first quarter, 13-4 to Frontier. Red Hawks are on a 13-0 run right now. Hunter Campbell will try to break that right here. Three-point bomb put up, no good. Morse the rebound, gets it to Sharp. Sharp on the left side, takes it across the timeline. Head of the circle to Morse, right back to Sharp. Left side they go, Peter Carey into the corner, three-point bomb put up by Morse, no good, battle for the rebound, Hunter Campbell pulls it down, Hunter runs it up quickly on the right. Shuffle pass back to Mason Meadows, he'll go on the right side, and a blocking foul called against the Hawks. Yeah, that's going to be on Morse. That is four team fouls on the Hawks, two on Owen Morse, and he is going to be replaced by Brett Robinson. Junior, and also coming into the lineup for the first time is Gabe Jones Thompson. There's not a lot of drop off, by the way. This Frontier team runs pretty deep. They got some good guys off the bench. Two of them just came in. Top of the key, three pointer put up by Owen Phelps. In and out, no good. Loose ball picked up, and another block by Carey. A traveling call on oh, Greenfield. Boy. I don't know how you get a shot off down low. Yeah, it's, it's and, and you can see it's frustrating Greenfield. They're shooting everything from the outside right now, it seems like. They have no interior game whatsoever. We're under two minutes to play here in the quarter. Frontier leading by nine right now. Robinson looking for some help. Gets it away, Boudreaux down low. Karsten Carey going up strong, and he gets blocked, and a traveling call on Karsten Carey, nice defense there by Meadows. Well, that was not only Meadows, but Hart. I mean, Hart has done a great job physically inside. It hasn't translated into a lot of blocks, but he's making life very difficult for Karsten Carey right now. Well, Greenfield is in a huge scoring slump. Uh, drought, uh, they led about a minute and a half in, they led four nothing. They have not scored since then. They've gone a good six minutes without scoring. Meadows, top of the key, right side pass Campbell. Here comes Ryan Cody, circles it back, eight seconds to shoot, Ryan Cody, and air mails a pass out of bounds. He was looking to get it over to Hunter Campbell. I think his mom caught that one. <laughs> no, mom's over here. Oh, okay, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Threw it into the uh, frontier student section. You're that right, I'm sorry. The fifth man got that ball. <laughs> his mom, uh, Jamie, was a GHS, uh, GHS athlete back in the day. 
Very good field hockey player. Minute 12 left to play in the quarter. 13-4 Frontier. Greenfield trying to press in the backcourt, trying to provoke a steal. Couldn't do it. Nice job there by the Hawks to break it. And a little shuffle pass. Having a little bit of trouble. Gets it in. Peter Carey in the paint. The leaner gets the roll. Uh, the Carey brothers doing all kinds of damage right now down low. 15 to four. And a not, well, nearly a turnover. Yep, they did throw it away as the pass went too high. Hart tried to capture it in the right corner, but it goes out of bounds. Yeah, Greenfield's rattled. They're on that 4 0 run, and they have been nowhere near the basket since. Sam Felton Emmerich, number five, checks in his first minutes for the Hawks. They lead by 11. 15 0 run. They throw the pass up on the left side. Robinson has it. He stops there. Back between the circles, Sam Felton Emmerich. Now coming through, Robinson has it. Down to 15 to shoot, 31 on the game clock. In the right corner, nearly a traveling call. Slicing into the paint. And Jones Thompson does not get the leaner. Here comes Hunter Campbell back quickly for Greenfield. Hunter all the way through, blocked by Peter Carey down low. Shot clock off, 15 seconds left here in the quarter. Great first quarter for Frontier. Deep on the left side. Swing it around on the right side. Five seconds left. A reach and foul called against Hunter Campbell as he tried to knock the ball away from Jones Thompson. Well, here's an example of, of the depth of Frontier. You know, they, had, they took Karsten Carey out. They bring in a third guard. Now they're running a three-guard offense where they were running a, a basically a primarily a front court offense. Now they're running a three-guard offense. It's, the depth is just tremendous. Nate Hazelton in for Greenfield. Three seconds left in the quarter. Deep three ball right side at the buzzer. Back rim no good by Felton Emmerich. End of one here at Nichols Gym in Greenfield. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 15, Greenfield 4. Second quarter action all the way next. Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Second quarter underway, and each team with their original starting five on the floor, except for Greenfield, we'll get to that one change in a moment. On the left side, Caleb Evans goes left baseline. The leaner, no good. And a nice job drawing the offensive foul by Kenny Adams, and he's the one guy that just came in. I'm not sure Caleb Evans agree with that call. Looked like a pretty straight shot to the basket. Here's a stat for you. 11 of the 15 points Frontier scored in that first quarter. All carry brothers. Yeah. They were getting it done mostly down low, but Peter also had that mid-range jumper. That was good. So Greenfield now will try to uh, get something going offensively. They have not had a bad defensive game, but they're getting uh, no production offensively. Adams tried to dump it down low. Kalen Evans, nice save along the baseline. Got it? Sharp will run it up quickly. On the right side, Morse. Here's Peter Carey, jump pass to Karsten. Little Bunny from the right baseline is good. Simple as that, just feed the big man. 17-4 Frontier. It's a 17-0 run dating back to the early stages of that first quarter. That's crazy. Top the key, Mason Meadows tried to feed the paint. Ends up back into the hands of Phelps. They work on the left side. Owen has it. But it's going up against Carey. Throws a pass over the head of Kenny Adams. Shot clock down to 10. Wide open. Phelps for three. Got it. And that finally breaks the 17-0 run. That's about as open as a Greenfield player has been tonight. 17-7 in favor of the Red Hawks. Early second quarter. Sharp sealed off on the baseline. Little shuffle pass back. They get it to Karsten Carey from the foul line. Jump pass over to Sharp. Left side jumper is no good. Rebound to Adams. Outlet pass on the right to Phelps. Phelps will run it up. Into the front court. Stops there. Mason Meadows. He will take a three. Good! Well, Greenfield needs more of this. Turn some of these stops into points. 
Nice 6-0 run now by the Wave, 17-10 in favor of Frontier. Evans deep on the right elbow between the circles to Morse, left side to Sharp. Sharp beyond the arc, back to Morse, top of the key. He'll take a tray, he'll make it. He can definitely shoot the three. I would keep an eye on him from the perimeter. Frontier 20, Greenfield 10. Just under six minutes to play here in the first half. We'll have Karsten Carey as our halftime guest. An interview that I recorded uh, during the JV game here, which Frontier won, by the way. Owen Phelps sealed off on the right baseline, had his pass batted down by Kalen Evans. Evans runs it up on the right, gets it to Sharp in the right corner. Sharp takes it inside the arc, can't penetrate though. Back to Evans, wide open three from the right side is short. Deep rebound comes out to Adams. Adams into the front court, gets it to Owen Phelps. Left side, Nettles fakes the three, drives through. A little scoop shot, lost it on the way up though. And here comes Frontier back the other way. Owen Morse, left side to Sharp. Alex holds there, back to Morse from the right wing. Tried to feed it down low. Evans gets his man in the air. Broynton goes up hard. And he falls hard. He's going to get a foul. Well, he got the ball in the face. And then he got the ball in the face at the very end. But he's okay. But he went down very, very hard. He stopped throwing the ball around. Jeez. And one of the Frontier guys flung it up at the hoop. I think you got to get him out of there. His head at the floor, like, I mean, hard. He's staying in there, though. Tough kid. And inbounding right in front of us is Alex Sharp. Takes the ball from the official. Looks to get it in to Karsta Carey on the left side. And the little leaner is no good. Got the rebound up, no, but a foul on Greenfield. It's going to go against Cardinalis. Smallest guy on the floor. Hits the biggest guy on the floor. Good defense, but the big man will get two here. You know, Carlos is first foul, and that's the seventh team foul on Greenfield. Karsten Carey is shooting two. First one is on the way. That one is good. Want to thank more sponsors on the broadcast here tonight. And they include Galensky Landscaping, Albert Hearing Services, Greenfield Police Association, Muffins Market. Second free throw is good by Karsten Carey. 22-10 Frontier. Back into the Frontier lineup is number 15, Gabe Jones-Thompson. The side, Mason Meadows gives it up to Owen Phelps. Shot clock at 17. Danny Vega, playing with two fouls. Gets it down low to Phelps, but they've got Karsten Carey on him. That's a huge size disadvantage for him. But now he works himself free for a three. Back rim, no good. Vega battles for the rebound and got it. Throws it out to Phelps. New shot clock for the Wave. They trail by 12. Owen takes it all the way through. And the little bunny from the left side, no good. Karsten Carey skies for the rebound to Sharp. Sharp runs it up quickly on the right. Top of the key to the line. Sealed off on the free throw line. Coming back through now is Morse, dumps it down low. Peter Carey, power move from the right block, it is good. Power move is right. And the lead back to 14 now, 24-10. 4-10 to play here in the half. Hunter Campbell on the right side, Vega, top of the key. They got him with steps, just shuffled his feet just a little bit. Mason Meadows out, Cardinalis out for Greenfield. Brington is right back in. And they're going to get uh, Nate Hazelton out there again. Halfway through the second quarter, Frontier cruising right now by 14. They get it down low. Karsten Carey to Peter Carey, tipped away though by Greenfield, Ooh. and players going down hard. Hazelton got tied up with Peter Carey. The officials are going to jump right in. The foul was on Peter Carey, by the way. So yeah. it'll be Greenfield basketball. I don't think that was anything cheap. I think it just got hooked up together, but no, it happens. Hazelton is. God, he is a tough kid. Yeah, he, uh, you know, we watched him play football, uh, fullback and linebacker for the last three years for Greenfield, and yeah, he is a tough kid. He looks, he's not that small, but he looks tiny compared to these uh, Frontier guys, but he's a tough young man. Strong. Owen Phelps tried to bank one home from the right side. No good. Greenfield crashed the boards. They got a foul. They may have gone on Nate. Yep. See who they got. Yeah, and we're going to be uh, shooting a one and one here. Ryan Cody is in, and Phelps will check out for the Green Wave. And went to the one and one now, so Kirsten Carey, just an all-around really good player. He's a very good free throw shooter. And probably I just jinxed him. Friend of the one and one is good. He has now half of his team's points. Actually, almost half. The 12 points already in this first half. 
Well, if he makes this one, then he'll have exactly half. 13 out of the 26, there you and go. he does. Early bid for Helen, the chemical player of the game. Of course, we wait till the post-game show to reveal that. We're not even through the first half here, but what a night so far from him. Coming through, Cody. That pass, he tried to thread the needle to Vega, picked up by Karsten Carey. Runs it up. Alex Sharp will go right baseline. Pull up pop from 12. Back rim, no. Oh. Put back by Carey is good. Wow. A one timer put back for oh, two. Oh, man. One timer was right, and he lit the lamp. Timeout, Greenfield. We're under three minutes to play here in the first half, and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Frontier 28, Greenfield 10 on Bear Country 95.3. Among those in the crowd here, I just look to my left and I see Greenfield running back R.J. Burr. The last time I saw him, I was taking a picture with, with him and Wyatt Keith of Turners and Hubie. Sean Huber, my uh, color commentator on football, after those two guys both rushed for over 300 yards in that crazy Turkey Day win for Greenfield, 40 to 38. That's the last time I saw R.J. until tonight. Now foul on Frontier. That's going to go against Jones Thompson as Greenfield was trying to get out on the break. Bobby C. did a great interview with those guys on TV for the Franklin County Varsity Sports Report. Yes. Really, really good. And you should check it out. It's available on YouTube. First of the one and one is up and good by Hunter Campbell. Hunter will get one more. Yeah, it's gonna be weird to see Greenfield football in the fall of 2019 with no number 22 out there running up and down the field, but what a career. Three times that young man rushed for over 1,000 yards, went over 2K in his senior year. Second free throw was no good. It got tipped out of bounds off Greenfield. So it'll be Frontier Basketball. They lead 28-11 as we come down to the three-minute mark here in the first half. Karsten Carey on the left side all the way through. Got hit on the way up. No foul call. Comes down to Phelps. That was a flat strip by Owen. That was a great play. Coming through, Mason Meadows, the leaner in the paint. Back room, no good. Peter Carey, the rebound. Frontier now on the break. Morse gets it to Sharp in the left corner. Back top of the key, they're looking to get rid of it. Here comes Sharp, loops the alley-oop down low. Peter Carey stops, no good. Rebound, Karsten Carey, he got it poked away out of bounds, out of bounds, and it is off of Karsten's leg. It'll go back to the green wave. Nice play there by Phelps. I like what Greenfield's doing right now inside on Carey. The last couple times down the floor, they're making it very uncomfortable. It's all you can do against a guy like that. Colin Boudreaux checks in for the Red Hawks. And sitting down will be Jones Thompson. 2.38 to play here in the first half. Greenfield trailing by 17. They let 4-0. Frontier ended up going on a 17-0 run. And Greenfield's just been battling to avoid the blood ever since then. Danny Vega, deep on the left side. Nooney had it poked away, got it right back though. Shot clock at 12 at a high post. They get it to Meadows, tried to feed it down low. All the way through and Peter Carey with the flush on the other end. You knew that was coming eventually. 30 to 11 in favor of the Hawks. They lead by 19 as we come down to the two minute mark here in the half. Hunter Campbell, he'll launch a three. Good, line drive three. Got to get him more involved in the offense. Very, very important for Greenfield. Frontier 30, Greenfield 14. Minute 45 to play in the half. Then Karsten Carey on the halftime show coming up. Peter Carey has it right now. Down low, Colin Boudreaux dips a pass. A lot of contact. No foul call, goes out of bounds off of Morse. Back to the way. That's Greenfield's best play right now is to just Bug it up as much as possible, make it uncomfortable. Yep. That's I'm telling you, it's not pretty. It's an ugly way to win, but you, you got to do that. Well, that's how Greenfield is going to win. They don't have a lot of basketball type guys. They have a lot of those AAU type guys who play just basketball, and that's their main sport. You know, they just have a lot of guys that are just scrappy. Vega puts up a three hits for the second time out there. Four threes in the game for Greenfield. That's been most of their offense. Greenfield back to within 13 now. It's 30-17. to 17. Quick 6-0 run by the way. Three-point bomb from way out on the right side. That one is short by Morse. Rebound comes down to Vega. Greenfield looking to run. Right now it's five on four. As Carson Carey is a little late getting back into the action, but he's back down there now. Another three-pointer by Campbell. That one is no good. Rebound goes out of bounds off Greenfield. Frontier ball under a minute to play here in the half. Carey gave the ref a look. Carey's getting pretty much abused in the paint right now. Well, he better, get, he better get used to it. Yeah, well, that's, that's just going to, you know. Exactly right. In fact, we're going to talk about that a little bit. 
uh, in the halftime interview that I recorded, we, we bring up that exact topic about being a target. Carey misses in the lane, but Peter gets the rebound. Swoop right through. Back to Sharp, right side. It's Morse. Top of the key to Sharp. Alex passes on the left side. Peter Carey. Put pass down low to Carson Carey. Nice pass right side to Sharp. His jumper right side is good. What a feed. It was, and he got his shirt almost pulled off, did Carey, that last uh, play. 32-17. to 15-point Frontier lead. Shot clock is off. 20 to play here in the half. Our halftime report is coming up. Coming through, Hart, the leaner rejected by Karsten Carey, but catching it out of bounds was Morse. Back to Greenfield with 11.3 left. Oh boy. Hunter Campbell inbound on the baseline. And looking to get it in, throws it out deep. Finally did get it. Dylan Phelps, eight seconds to go. Right side, Vega puts up another three. Hits again from the right side. David Vega's got nine points, all threes. And that is how the first half will end. So a little bit of a run by Greenfield. They scored a 9-2 run late, but they do trail by 12 here at halftime. Halftime here at Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's the Frontier Red Hawks 32, the Greenfield Green Wave 20. The halftime report coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. All right, halftime here at Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins, Dave Reno is our studio producer. Frontier 32, Greenfield 20 at halftime. Chris Greenfield, I mean, they're fighting, they're scrapping. Give them credit for that, but Frontier is a handful. Yeah, and we pretty much knew it was going to be this way, but I think that Greenfield is somewhat somewhat uh, stunned by this, the quality of the, the big man in the middle, the Carey brothers, really. Uh, Greenfield has not been able to penetrate at all and their entire offense has been pretty much on the outside, and it's been hit or miss. But they, you know, they put up 20 points. They've shot five threes in the, in the first half. But they're going to have to get some some kind of interior penetration if they want to have any chance in the second half. Yeah, the guy that's really causing the biggest headache, of course, is Karsten Carey, the great pivot man and post player for the Frontier Red Hawks. He is our halftime guest. That interview is coming up next. 32-20 Frontier here at halftime. Take a timeout on our halftime report. This is Bear Country, 95.3. All right, back here on the halftime report as we sort of recap that interview with Karsten Carey, Chris. So one of my takes from that was, you know, a lot of times when we cover these young student athletes, a lot of times even the very skilled ones, they don't know how good they are and they don't understand how good their team is or how good their team could be. Not only is he skilled, but he's quite confident. I mean, he knows that they're on to something down there at Frontier Regional. Yeah, there's good reason for him to feel that way. There's a little bit of swagger there. I like that. I, I certainly think that uh, he is, if not the best big man in the league, certainly in the conversation. And the great part about Frontier is that they are very deep. It's not just a one-trick pony. You know, every, every good team, every great team has one a, a good big man usually. But the thing about Frontier that's great, and you're probably going to see it in the second half, is they can also shoot from the outside. So it's not just a one-dimensional thing. This is probably the best Frontier team they've had in the last five seasons. And he's absolutely right. They have reason to feel good. 
Yep, they can beat you ugly, they can beat you pretty, and uh, so far tonight they've been beating them pretty. I mean, they have a really, really skilled basketball team. But Greenfield, they hung around, as you mentioned, Chris, mostly by the threes. I'll have you run the numbers, but without the three, Greenfield would be down by about 25 points right Absolutely. now. Absolutely, and they shot five threes in that first half. Dan Vig had three of them. He has nine points, leading his team. Hunter Campbell has five, three for Mason Meadows, and two for Owen Phelps. For Frontier, leading all scorers in the game, Karsten Carey, 15 points out of this team's 32. Eight for Peter Carey, five for Owen Morris, and four for Alex Sharp. One guy who has not gotten in the scoring column yet is Caleb Evans, and he's had, had relatively limited minutes in that first half. Uh, I would expect to see more of Kalen in the second half, and sure enough, he's coming out in the starting five for Frontier. After the game, Chris and I will reveal the Helena Chemical player of the game, and that young student athlete We'll pick up a T-shirt from Helena Chemical. Wear it with pride, hopefully. We, have, we, we do see them uh, wear them around. I've, I've, I've seen those T-shirts oh, everywhere, actually. Greenfield will have the ball to begin the second half. They'll be attacking the basket just off to our right, and Frontier will go on the far side. They inbound the ball, and Frontier goes for a trapping press, and they have got a big trouble, and Greenfield actually has to call timeout right away as Owen Phelps got bottled up. And Greenfield had to call a T.O. He'll we'll step aside early third quarter and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 32, Greenfield 20. So no Patriots this weekend as they did get that first round by. They'll be hosting a team to be determined this weekend, wild card weekend. But the Patriots won't be part of that. But we'll have that game for you a week from Sunday from Gillette. One o'clock kickoff. Not sure what the air time will be. I'll let you know when we get closer. I guess it could be the Texans. Could be the Ravens. And it could be, there's a third team in there. I can't quite Chargers? remember. Chargers? Chargers, thank you. Again, that'll be determined this weekend. All right, play back underway. Greenfield with the ball. Julius Brewington at the foul line. Double team. It's it back to Hunter Campbell on the left side. Back to Meadows. Nice ball with Julius Brewington. Falls down, they got him for steps as he was in a very precarious position. He was, and it looked like he got tripped by one of the Carey brothers going through, but they didn't call it. You didn't, you didn't catch my uh, word. Precarious. Pre Pre the Carey brothers. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> All right, well. Can't believe I missed that one. That was weak. That was weak. All right. Oh, a ball thrown over the head of Peter Carey, but recaptured by Alex Sharp, being pestered by Hunter Campbell. Back to Sharp on the wing. 12 to shoot. On the right side, Kale Nevins, pass picked up by Nooney Vega, battle for the ball. And Vega actually had it, but he was out of bounds right in front of the scores table, so right back to the Hawks with a new shot clock. Now, two of the officials, including Jerry Burgess, are going to confer. And did he get a foul call? No. No, I don't know what that but was it, about. Yeah, There's but it will. Eight, only eight seconds on the clock, though. Oh, because you know why? Because Vega never assumed full possession of the ball. With one second on the shot clock, three-pointer by Evans is no good. Vega the rebound. Nooney runs it up on the left. Gets it to Hunter Campbell, the leaner, with one hand, no good. Karsten carried the rebound. Outlet pass over on the right side to Morris. Owen into the front court right. Goes between the legs, bounce pass to Evans. Kalen back to Morris. Owen. Passes to Peter Carey, zips a pass down low, and Karsten Carey hits on the leaner and is fouled. Well, what, what do you do? You get the feeling those two have practiced that in the yard a few times maybe? I think that so. Bullet pass down low, I mean, just beautifully executed, and Karsten draws the fouls. Three, by the way, on Julian Brewington. And the free throw is good by Karsten. Frontier 35, Greenfield 20. Their biggest lead of the first half was 17 points. Greenfield led by four right out of the gate, 4 nothing. And then a 17-0 Red Hawk run. Owen Phelps on the right wing. Top of the key, shuffle pass to Vega. Back to Phelps, shot clock at 12. Phelps, top of the key, right side pass. Mason Meadows, quick release three is short. Deep rebound comes to Phelps, new shot clock for the wave. Brewington in the paint, goes too strong. Double clutch, a blocking foul called against Peter Carey of Frontier. And he hopped up and down a bit in protest, but again, Brewington going right into the tall timber. No fear whatsoever. And that's two on Peter. An official flurry explaining why he made the call that he did. 
First free throw is up and no good by Julius. I'm pretty sure Peter's taller than his older brother. Uh, I think he is. It looks like he's got a couple of uh, couple of inches on Big Bro. I'm just wondering about the food bill in that <laughs> house with these growing boys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. Second free throw is good by Brewington. Makes one of two. 35-21. Sounds like a football score. It does. Early third quarter. Frontier firmly in control. Peter Carey, nice dish from Karsten to Peter, and Peter finishes down low. Oh, turn about the other way. Same play as before, only to the other brother. 37-21. Hawks, 5.50 to play third quarter. Tough D by the Red Hawks. Vega passes over the right side to Meadows. Meadows going baseline and goes right by Karsten Carey and hits. That's a great play by Mason Meadows. Got to see more of that from the big man. Burned him that time. Kalen Evans passes batted down by Meadows. Gets it back, however. Frontier with the basketball. 20 to shoot. Out beyond the arc is Felton Emmerich. They get it down low. Peter Carey to Karsten and missed the bunny. Karsten misses down low. Here comes Greenfield back the other way. In the right corner. Ooh. Hunter Campbell wanted that three, couldn't pull the trigger. Phelps, big at top of the key. He had three three balls in that first half. Here comes Phelps, shot clock down to 12 now. Hunter Campbell looking for some help. He's in big trouble, right side pass, seven to shoot. Hunter Campbell, left corner, Phelps, he'll step up for three, got it. He knew it too, pumps the fist going back up the floor. 37-26, Greenfield back to within 11. They swing it. And a traveling call on Owen Morris and Greenfield now. Chance to get this into single digits. Timeout called by Frontier. We'll step aside. 37-26, Red Hawks third quarter action from Nichols Gym. This is Bear Country 95.3. You know, I hesitate sometimes to, to give so much credit to Angelo Thomas. I mean, he's, he is, though, an excellent basketball coach. And his assistants, Paletti and Hunter Cam and uh, Aaron Campbell. But, you know, Frontier clearly has the better team. And here's Greenfield, 11 points down with the ball. And they, they keep sticking around. Yeah, they do. And they are not the better team here, clearly. But... I just know that Angel is going to squeeze as many W's out of this team as, as any coach probably could. Hunter Campbell on the right side. The leaner blocked on the way up. Nice play there by Peter Carey. Karsten has it in the backcourt. Finally gets it on over to Felton Emmerich. Felton Emmerich on the left wing. Stops there. Karsten Carey. Beautiful dish to Peter Carey who finishes from the left block. Yeah, I don't know how you defend that. The brothers are feeling it right now. Frontier up by 13 again. Halfway through the third quarter, it's 49-26 Hawks. Jared Hart passes Mason Meadows. He'll take a three, top of the key. Does not get the bounce. Karsten gets the rebound. Passes right side. Felton Emmerich. Kalen Evans. They go in a high post now. And Karsten Carey, and they're going with steps as he was out beyond the arc, not usually out there. No, yeah, and Mason Meadows, though, did a good job, forced that travel by just not letting Karsten move with the ball. Karsten Carey, of course, is a senior. Mason Meadows, just a sophomore. On the right side, Vega. Wraparound pass. Dylan Phelps gets it back. Deep on the right side to Vega. Shot clock down to 10. Vega going right baseline over to Jared Hart, but no. Stepped on the baseline right back to the Hawks. Got nowhere for him to go. Frontier with the ball. Sam Felton Emmerich takes it over the front court left. Felton Emmerich between the circles. Zips the pass on the left side to Morse. Felton Emmerich. Kalen Evans deep on the right side now. Shot clock at 15. Muscling his way through. Traveling call again against Karsten Carey. Two consecutive trips down floor. He gets steps. Yeah, and again, that was good defense. That was Owen Phelps that time who made him take the extra step. Well, I just may have to rip that T-shirt away from him but that he ah. may potentially win if he doesn't knock this off. Two turnovers in a row. Yeah, we're picking nits with this kid. He's had a fine, fine night for sure. He's had a lot of them in his career. Hart deep on the right. That's into the paint, traveling. Greenfield's gonna make a sub. They're going to, no, they're not. They're going to get Alex Sharp in there. 
for Frontier. Checking in for the Hawks as well, Brett Robinson. And yes, they are going to get a couple of subs for Greenfield. Well, at least one. Who do we got coming in here? We've got Hazelton in. And that's the only sub. Hazelton in and Hart out for the wave. 2.43 to play here in the third quarter. Frontier in control, leading by 13. Alex Sharp on the right wing. In the right quarter, Robinson loses the handle, goes out of bounds off of Robinson's leg, and the Green Wave will get the ball back. Yeah, Brett just took his eye off the ball for half a second. That's all it takes, and could not get the handle. Owen Phelps jogs it across the timeline, picked up there by Sharp. Throws on the left side, gets it right back. Nice dish and do, and nice finish by Phelps, and a foul. Yes. Nice play there by the way. Good passing there by the way, nicely done. Owen got bro broke free and got that little extra step and drew the foul, well done. And they're yeah. still only down by 11. Yeah, if he can make this free throw, it'll be down to a 10 point game. And I would say if it's at the end of three, and it's a single digit deficit, we could have, a, we could have an exciting finish. The free throw was good to make it 39-29, and they were trying to get a sub in, and that is going to be number 20, Colin Boudreau. And for Greenfield, they're going to get Cody back out there, replacing Vega. 39-29, Frontier. Again, this was a... This was a 21-4 game at one point, which is hard to believe now. Deep on the left side, Robinson for three. Deep shot, no good, tipped around. Karsten Carey stripped on the way up but a reaching foul called against Hazelton. Yep, Nate got part ball but got part hand too, so it'll be two for the big man. Angelo Thomas clapped his hands and stomped his foot on that. He was really hoping Nate was gonna be able to get the block and not the foul call, but that's two on him. First free throw is up. And good by Karsten Carey. Second one is up. That one good as well. 41-29. 12-point lead for Frontier. Coming down to the two-minute mark here in the third quarter. Cody gets it to Hunter Campbell on the right. Hunter Campbell back top of the key to Hazelton. Left side it goes to Cody. Yeah, and Cody, they work into the right corner to Campbell. Hunter Campbell trying to wrap around pass. They're trying to get it to Meadows. Can't do so. Back it's Ryan Cody. Shot clock down to nine. Hunter Campbell, Cody's open on the right side, fakes the three, four seconds. Hunter Campbell, and a desperation three, it's heading our way, goes out of bounds. Shot clock violation on Greenfield, terrific D. Well, that's Red Hawk defense right there, and I'm surprised it has net more tonight, but they can play smothering D when they have to, and they've always played tough D, but this year the accent's been on the offense, but they can play D as well. Cody out, Vega right back in for Greenfield. Here comes Alex Sharp into the front court between the circles for Frontier. Pass on the right side to Kalen Evans. Kalen going right baseline and a blocking foul is gonna be called against Vega as he made the penetration move. See how many noon he's got. That is three on him. I wonder how Dan Vega became Nooney. I don't know the origins of his nickname. I don't know, but there's a kid at this school that was named Fabio for years, and I couldn't figure out where that name came from either. <laughs> Did he have the Fabio hair? I don't think so. Reverse lay-in by Carey. Missed it, and he's frustrated as he heads down court. It's had an okay third quarter, we'll say. Vega is going to launch for three again, and it's no good. The ball actually ended up, and the ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be a foul called against Frontier on the rebound. Yeah, there was a clean out underneath, and I think it was on Karsten, yep, yep, two on him. Peter Carey in, and Karsten will get his first break of the night. As I said, third quarter, I mean, he, you know, he's not a machine, he's, he's a human being, flesh and blood. He's had, I would say, just an okay third quarter. He's had a lot of nice passes, I'll say that. Mason Meadows, right side, three ball, in and out, no good. Rebound is pulled down by Frontier. Alex Sharp. One minute left to play in the third. 12-point lead for the Red Hawks. Peter Carey has it. Passes on the left side. And the pass, though, is picked off by Greenfield. Mason Meadows will take it across. He'll go all the way through. Dishes it over to Nate Hazelton. Nate, a little teardropper from the right side. No good. Meadows, the rebound. Goes out of bounds off of Mason. Back to Frontier. Well, Greenfield's hanging around. They're within 12. 
You know, they need a run, though, where they get it down to like a two or three possession game. Because then at that point, get that home crowd going, you never know. Right. Nearly a steal by Vega. Sharp gets it over on the right side. Jones Thompson, they get it to the left side. The leaner up and in, nicely done. Owen Morse off a nice feed. Yeah, Morse is right where you need to be on the baseline. Shot clock is off, 20 seconds left in the quarter. Frontiers lead now back up to 14. It's been as close as 10. The biggest Red Hawk lead was in the first half at 17. Vega goes right down Broadway, blocked though by Peter Carey. Frontier looks to run on the other way. Shuffle pass, sharp jumper from the left side with three seconds left, no. Rebound comes down to Greenfield and that'll do it. End of three here at Nichols Gym at GHS and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Frontier 43, Greenfield 29, fourth quarter action next on Bear Country 95.3. <laughs> All right, so Greenfield got it as close as 10, but they trailed by 14 at the end of three. And Karsten Carey was on the bench to end the third quarter, had a couple of fouls, had a couple of travel calls. He is out there now with his brother Peter, Evans, Morse, and Sharp. Those, that's the original starting five. And for Greenfield, likewise, the same original starting five. So we're right back where we started. We'll see if Frontier can ride this to victory number four on the season. On the left side, it's Kalen Evans. Stops on the wing at a high post. Peter Carrioff fakes, drives it right side. Sharp, pull up, pop, got it. Good ball movement. The lead is 16 now, 45-29, a 6-0 Red Hawk run. Dating back, obviously, to the end of the third quarter. They're playing lockdown defense right now. On the wave. Phelps, Bunny, air ball from just inside the paint. Rebound picked up by Karsten Carey. Here's Owen Morse into the paint. Stripped on the way up. Loose ball picked up by Morse. Back to Kalen Evans for three. Yes! Well, this is where you want to remove any question about a comeback. And that's, like, that's what Frontier is trying to do, I think, here. Yep. Biggest lead of the night now. 19 points. 48 to 29, Red Hawks. And we'll see if Greenfield can come up with some kind of offensive answer. Not this trip. Miscommunication between Vega and Meadows. And it goes out of bounds over to the Hawks. And you're right. They can put it away right here. They would like to get that lead over 20. See if they can do so on this trip. Evans, who just hit that shot a moment ago. Cross court pass to the left. Sharp's going to take a three, and that one is no good. Battle for the rebound. They're going to get Sharp trying to crash the boards. He ran right into Owen Phelps. Yeah, I would expect to see Frontier start shooting the ball more from the outside here in this fourth quarter. They haven't done much of it. It's supposed to have been an inside game tonight, but they can definitely shoot from the outside. Owen Phelps into the front court, gets a screen, passes left side to Vega, left corner it goes to Mason Meadows. Meadows holding there. They pass out of that. In the right corner, Hunter Campbell, picked up there by Peter Carey, shot clock down the 14, down low. Coming through, Julius Brewington, power move, but he got rejected by Karsten Carey. I mean, he made a nice move. He made a nice little spin move, but the ball came right back at him. Uh, on the left side deep, it's Peter Carey. Owen Morse, loop pass down low. Karsten Carey misses from the left block on his own rebound, though, puts it up and in. And Greenfield's going to call a timeout as this one has gotten away from the wave. The lead for Frontier is up to 21. 6 one to play in the basketball game. Now the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's now Frontier 50, Greenfield 29. Coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. 
Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslex Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Greenfield with the ball now down by 21. Clearly, most likely not going to uh, get back into this game or win it certainly, but they're gonna, they're gonna do their best right now. Julius Brewington, nice power move down low. Puts up the shot from the left block, no good. Deep rebound to Vega, new shot clock for the wave. Phelps between the circles, left side it goes to Hunter Campbell. Hunter, left corner it goes to Mason Meadows. He has double team there, someone has to be open. Great help defense by Frontier right now. Shot clock down to 12. Hunter Campbell on the left side. Got it. Shot clock at 10. Here comes Vega to the line, to the lane. Shot clock at 5. Danny Vega gets it to Meadows. He'll put up a 3 on the right side. That is no good. Battle for the rebound. It comes to Carey. They were fortunate to get a shot off. They really were. That was just yeah. great defense. So they ran 30 seconds off and didn't get any points to show for it. Yeah, Frontier... Uh, Fine overall oh. offense. Ooh, hard foul. Vega just picked up his fourth as he dumped Kalen Evans. Nooney went goony on that one. <laughs> Hart and Hazelton in for Greenfield. Vega's out with four fouls, and Brewington will say, uh, take a seat of the bench as well. And Frontier, who'd they get back out there? Wachowicz says uh, first minutes here really? tonight. Oh, they threw the pass away. Karsten Carey made a mistake. My goodness. That might be the headline tomorrow on the recorder. <laughs> Carey is human. Sometimes. Yeah. The rest of the time, he's like a machine. Owen Phelps, beyond the arc, backs it out. Passes on the right side. Greenfield just has terrible spacing right now. Yeah, they got it going now. Phelps, he'll take a three. Open too strong with that one. Goes out of bounds. That should be Greenfield basketball. It is as it went out the hands of Owen Morse. Now, Angelo Thomas, Greenfield coach, he told us in the pregame this is going to be a tough one, and in fact it has been. Going baseline hard, nice dish. They get it back, Campbell pushes up a three, back rim no good. Loose ball on the floor, kicked around. Comes back to Greenfield. Hart going up against Carey. He's not going to get that shot off. Phelps back to Hart. And it goes off the leg and a kick on Kalen Evans. He hits the floor. He'll go back to Greenfield. New shot clock for them. Down the they four. Got, they 12. got a break because that, that was going nowhere. Yeah, exactly. This whole these last couple of offensive sets have just not done anything. Hunter Campbell, double team. Frees himself for a shot. Forces one up, no good. And the rebound comes down to Frontier. Halfway through the fourth, Hawks lead by 21, looking to really salt this one away right here. Evans, deep on the right side. Karsten Carey from the foul line. Traveling call on Karsten. Yeah, he took the extra step. Getting ready for the spin move. 3.50 to play here in the basketball game. Frontier 50, Greenfield 29. We've been stuck here for a while, though. Mason Meadows foul line right. Nice ball move at that time. Three-pointer by Campbell is no good, but some good passing. And Meadows gets some hustle points, gets the rebound. Pull a pop from the right sideline is no good. Right baseline, rather, no good. Kalen Evans gets the deep rebound. Runs it up. Gives that up to Sharp. Sharp calls the play. Taps his head. Dribbles with the right hand. Deep on the left side, it goes to one more. So one Morse. Double team. Top of the key. They work it on over. They work a screen. A little pick and roll action, but Greenfield's able to pick it off with Hunter Campbell. Hunter runs it up. Over to Hart. Shuffle pass back to Owen Phelps. 
Mason Meadows is going to launch another three. That is no good. That shot is not here. And a foul down low on the rebound. That's going to get called, I think, on Hazleton. Yeah. It was Nate. That's on Nate. I think he thought he was in pads and a helmet that time. That was <laughs> Pretty good block down on the baseline. Three personal fouls on him. That's uh, five team fouls now on Greenfield. So two more, and Frontier will be into the one and one. Morse, double team to the backcourt, gets it easily across the timeline. Karsten Carey, a little wraparound pass, got picked off by Phelps. Owen, he should take it right to the hole. Turns, fires up the shot, doesn't get the bounce. Deep rebound comes to Karsten Carey, and he got shoved hard by Mason Meadows who did come over to help him up. Just wanted to make sure that it was uh, nothing bad going on there. There wasn't. Yeah, I don't think there was anything nope. remotely flagrant about that. It was just a... But when big bodies fall yeah, down, a it. lot of times people go, oh, what's going on? What happened? It's all good. Incidental contact. Second personal foul on Mason Meadows. Sixteen foul, so one more. And the Hawks will be shooting. And Benny got Karsten out of there. It might be the end of the night for him. You don't want an injury with... 21 point lead. Yeah. Frontier is uh, going to get the W, be their fourth win of the year. They're going to go to 4-1. and one. Greenfield will fall to 4-2. and two. But some positives for them as well. But three words that Angelo used on the pregame interview. Work in progress. That's his team. Eh? That's what he said at the quarter poll. We are a work in progress. Three-point bomb by Owen Morse on the right side is good. Frontier calls a quick timeout, so presumably Ben Barshevsky can get some bench guides in. We'll take the break. 2-10 to play now in regulation. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's now Frontier 53, Greenfield 29. After the game, the Helena Chemical Player of the Game on the post-game show will also set the scene for tomorrow night's broadcast and Saturday evening's broadcast and then tomorrow morning it's bear in the morning with kevin i'm so glad to say bear in the morning with kevin yeah. i was i was in for him for the entire holiday school vacation and i mean I, I did 15 years of morning radio i don't know what i'm whining about but i'm so glad to say bear in the morning with kevin and not me <laughs> i don't know how you do that morning stuff well you, same thing for you for years and years <laughs> yeah but i almost died yeah literally Two minutes to play. Frontier leading by 24 points. Greenfield trying to just get something going on an offensive set. Frontier's just not letting them do it. We got some new Frontier players out there. A lot of them actually. We'll set the scene in a moment. One of the new guys that just checked in for his first minute, Zach Nurminger. And a three-point bomb on the right side is up and no good. That was fired up there by Gabe Kuczynski, junior guard. He jacked up the three, no good, but a foul. He didn't make that one, but Gabe Kuczynski can shoot the three. He shot the lights out against uh, Ludlow the other night and then home opener. He'll, he'll make some noise off the bench. Now, to me, Kuczynski, that, that was a Greenfield name for it, years it, and years. Yes. True, but so, I don't believe there's a, a familial connection with okay, this that, kid. I could be wrong. That's what I was wondering. But, yeah, he, that, kid, that kid's got some, some ups for sure. Free throw is up and no good by Zach Norminger. Greenfield now back on the attack. Vega, they work it around here. Coming through is Phelps. The leaner from the right side is good. That breaks that long scoring draw out for the wave. They're now over 30 points for the night. And Angelo Thomas called a quick timeout. And yeah, we'll step aside for the break. A minute 17 to play. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 53, Greenfield 31 on Bear Country 95.3. Bichinski will inbound right in front of us with those bright orange basketball sneakers that he's wearing. Where's the on off switch on those? Huh. Actually, they're not as bright as Melvin Moreno from Turner's a few years back. Yeah, I remember that. Remember those? Ball gets batted out of bounds. It'll uh, go right back to Frontier. Yeah, Melvin Moreno, who's now the JV coach over there. Is he really? Downtown. Yeah. He had the, the most orange of orange sneakers his senior year. I've still and, got retina damage from and, those. <laughs> and that was my joke to him. I say, Melvin, where's the, where's the on-off switch? Or where, does, where, does the, where, do, where can you take the battery out of those? And he just laughed. He loved those shoes, though. dipsy doo drive in the paint by Kaczynski. No, but a foul on Greenfield.
And Gachinski will go to the line. So on Frontier's roster, they have one, two, three, four, five, six juniors and two sophomores. So, yeah, they're yeah. going to return almost every boy, well, yeah. not everybody, but they're going to lose Karsten, but they're going to have Peter there in the middle next year. Greenfield sw uh, switching up. Cardinalis is back in. He saw maybe 30 seconds of playing time early on. And also out there, Kenny Adams, who saw some first half action. Free throw is good, 55-31, Frontier by 24. Under a minute to play here. Cardinalis turns, a little 360. Carlos turns and shoots and hits. He was a defensive player on the Greenway football team back in the fall. 55-33, Frontier by 22. That was a 10-point game late in the third quarter. And Kaczynski launches a deep three, no good. Here comes Cardinalis, runs it across. Sips a pass up ahead to Kenny Adams, shuffle pass back to Avery. Now they work at left side. Cardinalis gonna take another shot, that is short. Rebound comes down the frontier and looks like they can just dribble this one out and they will. 10 seconds left, so the frontier Red Hawks come to Nichols Gym. And after a brief stumble early in the first quarter, they cruise to victory. They win it by a final score of 55 to 33. Take a timeout. Stay tuned. The Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Post Game Report. 55-33, Frontier wins it over the Greenfield Green Wave. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins, and Dave Reno as we wrap things up here. But before we do so, we'll recap. Happy recap for the Frontier Red Hawks. They now go to 4-1 and one on the year. They did what they came here to Greenfield to do, which was to dominate the game and get the W. Well, I mean, people look at the box score tomorrow and are going to think, oh, 22 points. Greenfield must have played terrible. But I don't think that's the case at all. I think Greenfield played as well as they were going to play against this team. I think this is a stacked team. Clearly, the Carey brothers, when they are together on the floor and they combine for 32 of their team's 55 points, are impossible to stop in a, lot, in a lot of cases. I think Greenfield did what they could. They just could not get into an offensive groove. There was no inside penetration because they couldn't. They didn't have a height advantage. They shot from the outside inconsistently sometimes. But I think defensively, they played as well as they could. And they did a good job holding this team to 55 points, I think. And I think, Chris... Uh I think Greenfield's path to victory this winter for the boys' basketball team is to do what they attempted to do tonight, albeit unsuccessfully for the most part tonight. It's just play good defense and just grind out the offense because, again, they're not a stellar offensive team. Angela Thomas knows that. I think even the guys know that. They need to uh, be able to play really tough defense and just grind it out. That will work on a lot of nights, but not against a team like this. And not against a team with as many weapons. And, you know, Frontier, they've got the two big guys, but they've also got They've got three, actually, three big guys in the middle. They've got Colin Boudreaux as well. But if that gets shut down somehow, you can go to the outside, and they've got outside shooters. You didn't see much outside shooting tonight because they dominated inside. And when something's working, you don't get away from it. You keep pounding the ball inside. And Greenfield, you're right. I think that there's a lot of reasons to feel good about this team. And they aren't the classic AAU-type team, but they are good athletes, and they grind. And, you know, you can, you can teach – you know, the, the basics, how to shoot, 
how to play defense. You can't teach hustle. And these kids hustle, and they, and they come to play every night, and they're going to have success. Tonight they didn't because they played a much better team. 55-33 Frontier is the final here where you will reveal the helicopter player of the game in just a minute. But, Chris, run those final numbers Yeah, for it's us. not going to be a huge mystery. Uh, for the <laughs> Frontier Redhawks, Karsten Carey led the team and all scores with 22 points. 12 for brother Peter Carey, 10 for Owen Morse, 6 for Alex Sharp, a 3 ball for Kalen Evans, and uh, 2 uh, foul shots for Gabe Gachinski. For the Greenfield Green Wave... Uh, was Owen Phelps with 10 points, 9 for Dan Vega, all three-pointers, 5 for Mason Meadows, 5 for Hunter Campbell, who was quiet tonight and, and defended well. I'm not sure. He didn't have a lot of playing time. Yeah. He might be sick. I'm not sure what's going on there. But uh, Hunter, limited minutes, 5 points, 2 for Carlos Cardinales, and uh, a single foul shot for Julius Brewington, who did not show up on the score sheet. But um, I thought did as, did as good a job as he could defending Carson Carey on the defensive glass and took a beating out there and fell a number of times playing tough deep. But the final score is 55-33 in favor of your Frontier Redhawks. And, in fact, senior from Frontier, Carson Carey, he was our guest at halftime. He did it all tonight. Um, you know, a couple of missteps in the second half, but really we're, we're picking nits with that guy. He uh, had another, another fine night. Yeah, and I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen all the teams in the league, but i got to tell you, it's going to be very, very tough to defend him. And when he and his brother are out there in that Twin Tower deal that they were doing tonight, uh, Frontier is going to have a, a, a very, very uh, good season inside. And woe to anybody who has to defend those two guys. Congratulations to Frontier senior Karsten Carey, winner of the Hellenic Chemical Player of the Game. Final score for the final time here from Nichols Gym at Greenfield High School. On the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, the Frontier Red Hawks 55, the Greenfield Green Wave 33. For Chris Collins and our studio producer, Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, and have a great night in bear country, everyone.